Hundreds of thousands of used electronic devices are being imported from the U.S., Britain, Japan and the Middle East and sold in Pakistan. Only a small percentage is usable. The rest is recycled locally in the absence of proper disposal centers. Local businessmen try to salvage whatever they can and don't let most of the imports go to waste. Old picture tubes are taken out from used computer monitors, then given a thorough polish and then put into empty TV cases which are imported separately. And just like that, one man's garbage is another man's brand new TV. We import the bodies and circuits from China to make these TVs. We have been doing this for the last six years and my 19 employees make at least 150 TVs a day. Another scrap dealer picks up the empty shells and cables. Here they're broken down even further and the process becomes more hazardous. Experts believe that improper disposal of these circuit boards releases toxins such as lead, cadmium, barium, mercury and chromium. Working for just under three dollars a day, some of these workers are oblivious to the damage these fumes may cause to their health. Some of them are knowingly doing it just to earn a living. We also found some school-going children who work 12 hours a day to make ends meet. I didn't want to go to school at first, so I started working here. I have eight brothers and sisters. Now I do go to the school some mornings, then come to work here. These scrap dealers are an open secret. Surely their disregard of the environment has to be breaking some laws, but it isn't. Despite the dangers, there is no law on the books that deals with e-waste. I just couldn't find it. The law and environment minister admitted the government's failures. The environmental laws which we may have made uh, include everything uh, at detail, but electronic waste is not being considered as detail. And this is a, a confession that I made. The government also has no data to show the impact on the lives of these workers. So they continue to try and earn a living from what the world discards as waste.